How's it everybody and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are unboxing a really exciting package that's just arrived from Amazon. Okay, so let's jump straight into it. This box arrived like four days ago and we've been trying to find an opportunity to film the unboxing because we want to do it with you guys. And now it's finally time to open it. So as you can see, this is still completely untouched. We have not even tried sealed. to tamper with one of the seals yet. We've just been staring at it every day. All right. Okay. Ah. Got him. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my. Take it out. No, no, I can't no. Do it. I on. can't do it. Okay. Yeah, go. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe this. As you can see, we have got the DJR Mavic Mini. I will brand new drone for our arsenal. I'm like shaking. <laughs> okay, your turn, go. What is in this bad boy? Oh, uh, this just looks like. Okay, the so we got some propeller guards over here. I'm literally shaking. Couple of propeller guards. Okay, next item. Here it is. Is that everything out of the box? We've got. Ah, it's just instructions. Ooh. Yeah, the batteries. little batteries. So we got the flower more combo. And with that comes three batteries. Lots of nifty things. Um, it comes with quite a few cables. It comes with a remote. So this is very cool. Three batteries which is a very big win. This is that charger thing. Huh. This literally looks like a phone charger. How cool. A little power brick. Huh. I believe that's what they call it. <laughs> okay, there's some... Oh, wait. This. Yes. This is very, very important. Very important. If you can't see this. Very. <laughs> I think we're going to take this from now on and we'll tell you exactly why at the end of this video. <laughs> In a this few is time. the DJR Care Refresh voucher. Thing? Voucher? Don't it's quite like, know what to like call it. It's like insurance. It's basically insurance yeah. Or, yeah, for your drone. We'll tell you so. about that very soon. <laughs> Okay, okay. And start. Go for it. <laughs> My racket. For sure. Look how nice this little carry pouch is. With our uh, DJI Spark, it, um, you basically have a box just for the drone and which can hold two batteries. This is nice because it can hold a remote as well, which is brilliant. It's pretty much just like everything. Everything in, in one. one. Your small hair. Hey? I'm literally shaking. I don't even want to touch it. Ah! Okay, go. I'm gonna go for this one first. 
So this right here is a little charging station. And what's pretty ingenious about this is that it acts, it acts as, a, as a power bank almost. So you charge this thing up and you can take it with you on the go and charge your batteries with you while you are on the go. So there's like three batteries and then there's this power bank kind of thing. And also if the remote or your phone starts going flat, you can also charge it through this thing, which is just, it's just brilliant. Game changer. Game changer. All right, what do you have over there? Is that how I need? It's the remote. Although, why does it look like that? Because... Do you connect things there? Or do you like literally... I saw a video on this. So as you can see, this is the remote but it hasn't come with any joysticks. Well... But I'll show you where the joysticks are. Oh, these are propellers. Cute! <laughs> Look, you wanna see where the joysticks are? Where are they? There they are. <gasps> so this, another cool thing about this, is that you can completely fold this remote down. You can take the joysticks down, off, sorry. So as you can see, if you can see it, the joysticks are Hidden inside, inside the, the remote. remote. That's so clever. Because um, with the other, with our Spark, the remote couldn't do this. So when we would put it in a backpack or whatever, it's always like not so great because when you put it in the backpack, the little joysticks could get squished or moved around. And that's fantastic. That's so I'll put cool. this one on, you put that one on. Okay. Oh, so cool. <laughs> okay. Brilliant. Okay. And what's also nice about this one compared to the Sparks uh, remote is that you can attach the OTG cable straight in here and the cable will then run through here. Now, if, you don't, if you're not too aware about the Sparks remote, the OTG cable was connected here at the bottom, which made it very difficult to then wrap it around into the phone itself. Mm. So ours never really worked 100% and I think it's mainly because of that reason there. So this little connection port on the side is a very, very big win. I'm literally shaking, my I'm shaking. I'm so excited. These are just cables. Oh, are these the little cables? Yeah. Why are they three? Or they all, oh, it's for different types of yeah. phones. That is so clever. So another thing, it's just little wins on wins on wins here. Because you're getting the oh, flower more combo, you're getting the OTG cables and everything together in Literally the pack. Literally for different kinds of phones, three different types of ports. For the Sparks so flower more combo, you didn't get these, so. You had to buy your own yes. cable. That's so cool. Brilliant. Brilliant. And this just maybe a charging cable. And then it's time to take out the baby. Yeah, let's just rip it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's it's really stuck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's probably that's a just cable. the cable for the charger. Wonderful. And there's one more cable for something else. But this right here, this is already a big one, so. Okay, let's clear out our little desk here. <laughs> the main show. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Okay. Go for it. <laughs> it's so light. Oh my gosh, please take it. No oh, man. It's literally like nothing. Oh my gosh. This feels like a bit of a toy, doesn't it? <laughs> and this box is Whoa. nice. It is sturdy. This is honestly Honey. the lightest thing I've ever felt. How does this thing even fly? Oh yeah, let's give it a little, a little viewing here. So, <clears throat> this little Mavic Mini has come with a gimbal protector which is amazing. So whenever you store it away, you won't have the chance of scratching the camera. And also they have folded all the propellers 
in nicely. So it's very, very compact. It feels so sensitive, like when I'm trying to take yeah, the tags like, off and stuff. It literally feels like people I'm about say to make it's it. light, but this is like ridiculous. It, it honestly just feels like a piece of plastic. Like there's nothing much to it. Like the Spark was already a very light drone, and but you, this you could feel yeah. it, it was heavy enough to feel like you were holding. This this is like drone. it feels like you're holding a packet of chips, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And like a little packet of chips, not a big one. Okay, so I'll mm. fold these ones out, and then you fold the bottom one. I really feel like I'm gonna break it. It's so little. It is like so light that it feels like if you had to crash it into something, it would just bounce off and carry on flying in. Little arrows. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Springy. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. So if you know the, the spark, you know that the spark doesn't have folding arms. It's a, it's so we, can we call it a set drone? Yeah. So it's basically the same size as this. And it's all folded out, but you have you can only store it like this, where this is just wonderful. Let me try to put it back here. Because you can- Those bottom <laughs> ones are a bit like springy. Because you can it's fold jumped. the arms back. Oh my God. And store it, poof, just That's like that. So cool. In your bag. You see, it's it's the size it's the size of my hand. <laughs> I don't have very big hands. <laughs> <laughs> is it the size of my hand even? Your hand is bigger than it. Yo. So you so, guys, at yeah. this point, <laughs> you may be wondering, like, why do you guys have a new drone? You have a drone already, right? Like, yes. So mm -hmm. let's tell you the story. <laughs> <laughs> We were out filming the one day and I got a little bit too brave with the one shot I was trying to get. Oh, sorry. And I ended up flying it into the roof of the building. Literally, we're literally we're sitting in. like 20 meters away from no, where it not happened. Not even 20, yeah. 10 meters away yeah. from where it happened. So we're so, looking at the crash site right now. So unfortunately, I crashed it, went down in a heap. Um, <laughs> Well, it actually like fell and then bounced again and then bounced again. It fell a couple of floors, two or three yeah. stories. It fell straight onto the ground. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we have been trying to find a way of fixing it, but we haven't had the right tools mm. to do it so far. So let me know if you guys would like to see a video where we show you exactly what happened. I was I was busy recording. We the were flight. filming on this we day. We were filming on the yeah, day, so, so we have got everything there. And so if you'd like to see a video of the crash itself, mm. and also this little guy over here <laughs> who knows nothing about electronics, if you'd like to see me try to put the drone back together again and try to fix it. Let us, Let know. us know in the comments down in the below comments down and we below. can try to make this happen for <laughs> you guys. <laughs> we have had some tools come with this. Well, I haven't seen them yet, but it said it was supposed to come with some sort of screwdriver. So maybe that will be the right tool that we need for that. But we want to say a very special thank you to these people right here. My mom, my dad, my sister and her fiance who all banded together when they heard that we crashed our drone and we were pretty down and out for a few weeks and trying to figure out how we were going to fix it. They all banded together and bought us this new little baby. So thank you guys so, so thank much. You. And we love you guys so much. And we're so excited to be flying a drone again. <laughs> So that's the reason why you guys actually haven't seen any drone shots in our mm. previous videos. We literally haven't been able to do it. Yeah. But although we're really, really sad about crashing that drone and we were really bummed when it happened, we've had that drone for a long time and been on a couple of journeys with it, lost it a few times, crashed it a few times, but it survived. And in many ways, this is a really big upgrade well maybe not a really big one but it's definitely an upgrade in a lot of ways from that drone and we're very very excited to start flying it and 
see how it does out <gasps> there. I forgot one thing. Yes. I forgot to tell you guys about yes. this thing. Yes. So, if you own any DJI product, we haven't, we, this is the first time we've ever got it, but we can already highly recommend you buying it. It is the DJI Care Refresh. And we paid 40 or 39 euros for it. And it's a yearly subscription or yearly, I don't know what you call it, contract. <laughs> yeah. That entitles you, that allows you to get two drones per year if you crash them. Either water damage, you literally mm. just fly it into a building like we did. They, they give you a new drone without any questions asked. So I think paying 38 euros, we'll put it in dollars and rands and pounds for you guys as well. Mm -hmm. I think paying that amount of money per year, just so you don't have to make such a massive payment to buy a new one, mm -hmm. is really, really worth it. And for us, like with the last drone, I remember when we bought it, we were like, oh no man, warranties, insurance. But now that we've actually had a bad experience, when we were looking at this drone online and we saw this care and refresh, we were like, yes, like a million times yes. So it's definitely a good idea. Don't wait to have a bad experience. Very happy and highly suggest that you guys go and buy one of those for yourself. If you have a drone. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. We still will give you a full demonstration and a full fly of this new drone in one of our upcoming videos. We hope you guys enjoyed watching our unboxing. We're still so excited. I'm still shaking. I'm so excited about this new little baby. And let us know in the comments if you guys wanna see the <laughs> drone crash and everything that happened and see Mark try and fix it. Don't know if that will work <laughs> out, but... <laughs> Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Let us know in the comments if you want to see our drone crash. And subscribe so that you guys can see more travel content moving forward. And we'll see you guys back this coming Friday.